Hello everybody. Today is March the 18th. Um, I'm down here in the Ridge and Valley portion of Maryland again today. I think today is going to be probably uh, the best day so far this year to find the first snakes of the year for Maryland uh, for myself. But I am currently in a little floodplain habitat right now. If you can look at the background, it's only, it just broke 60 degrees um, on my way down here. So it's still kind of chilly for reptiles to be out. So I'm going to start flipping some logs in this floodplain habitat. Hopefully find some salamanders. Uh, and as the day warms up a little bit, I'm going to get out to some drier areas where I think snakes might be hanging out, sunning themselves today. Uh, and I'll give that a shot, but I'm going to look around here for a while and I'll let you guys know if I find anything. All right, so first herp of the day is this beautiful and really big eastern musk turtle. Uh, this is a very good turtle species for uh, where I am in Maryland right now. This is only the third one I've seen in this county before and by far the largest one I've ever seen uh, before. So really cool. He's really pretty. Love those yellowish white stripes going down the face. But that's a nice size musk turtle. So I'm going to definitely snag a few photos of this, this turtle. Um, then I'm going to let him go back into this canal. You can see on that far shoreline, there's a lot of rocks over there where the sun's hitting. I have a feeling that's probably where I'll see a snake today if I see a snake today. But I'm really happy that this is the first herp of the day. Really cool. So, snag a few photos, let them go, and then I'm going to keep on herping. So I went diving in the water to catch a painted turtle. And I ended up scooping up a turtle that I thought it was the painted turtle that was swimming away. Ended up being this musk turtle on the bottom. And I look right to the left of me, the one on top is another musk turtle trying to swim away. So I went in after a painted turtle, ended up getting two musk turtles, uh, which is way better than a painted turtle, um, in my opinion. But as I said in an earlier clip that I've only seen three before in my whole lifetime in this county, uh, which is county I herp a lot, and I've already caught three today. So I think I hit the jackpot, but I'm gonna keep herping this, uh, Nice canal habitat. And I assume since I've already caught three that I'll probably see a couple more of these guys today. Uh, but I'm gonna hope to find a snake basking along the shorelines here um, and maybe catch a couple more species of turtle today, which would be cool. So I'm gonna grab a couple photos, let them go uh, and keep on herping. So just walked a couple yards down from those last musk turtles. This is our first female of the day. I don't know how well you guys can see, but her shell is just green with algae, which is really cool. Made her blend in pretty good. But I might have lied about how uncommon they are uh, around here. They seem to be extremely common, um, at least in this area of this county, which is really cool. Maybe before I just didn't know the best strategy to find them but i think the best way is just to walk around in these real real woody debris habitat in the water and that just seems to be where they're hanging out so that's something good you know good thing that i learned from today is how to find these guys uh in my area but that's really cool i'm gonna snag a couple photos of her definitely because her shell's so green uh and then i'm gonna let her go uh Back in this woody debris, gonna keep working my way down and hopefully find some more herps today. Next herb of the day is just this Eastern Newt. Uh, this is the adult aquatic stage. These guys are pretty common. I already took a little documentation shot of him. So I'm just gonna release them back into here and let them swim away. So next herp, this is much more active eastern musk turtle. This guy's really big too. This might be bigger than the uh, the first one that I caught today. This is another male. You can see he has that real caved in uh, shell on the bottom. 
that's really cool this one's really pretty too kind of has an interesting looking face a lot of spots in the face so i'm uh i've been measuring all these guys so i'm going to do a quick measurement of this guy and then i'm going to take grab a quick documentation photo definitely since this guy's being a little bit more active i might get a better photo and i'm going to release him on his way keep working my way down this canal and really hoping to catch more, some more species but these guys are just so cool. I would not mind seeing these all day. So this guy ended up being the biggest musk turtle of the day. Um, the first one we caught today was 11.2 centimeters. This one's 11.8. If you can look right underneath his chin, he's actually got a leech on him. Uh, fortunately, I can't get that for him. I just picked off three that was on his tail end. Uh, that way he didn't have to worry about them, but I definitely not gonna get that one underneath his chin. He would probably give me a nice little bite. But I'm going to let him go right now. I already took my photos. So let's see if he'll swim off. There he goes. So this is how I'm finding these musk turtles now. So I gotta think all the years I've been herping down here, they've just been hiding in plain sight because I probably think they're part of the log. But you just come over, there they are. They really must have been hiding in plain sight all these years. I just never noticed them. Wow, this guy's got a really pretty face too. That is so cool. I think there's one right behind that leaf. Uh, let me put this guy in the net. And then, oh, let's see if I can make it over here. <sighs> yep. Oh, that one's tiny. Wow. That's really cool. And once again, I was going in after a painted turtle. Because the painted turtles are obvious sitting up on top of these logs. And of course, as soon as they see you, they just dive down into the mud. Nice, I think that's number six and seven for the day. That's really cool. This guy's really pretty too. I just love their faces, how they have those two yellow stripes. And their heads are so goofy. Their necks are real skinny. And their heads are huge for their body. That's really cool. Well, I'm going to snag a couple photos these two keep working my way down still no snakes today which honestly seems odd for how good this habitat looks on this far shoreline but nevertheless i'm having fun i hope you guys are enjoying looking at these musk turtles these are a species that's just really really cool for me to see so let me take a photo let these guys go and i'll let you guys know when i catch the next turp so I finished up taking photos of these guys so they can be released. They're a little bit shy now than they were earlier, but we'll see. Maybe get them to swim away for us. Come on, buddy. What about you? Let's see your head poking out. There they go. One's gone. There's number two. Cool. Finally, I was able to snag this really big and really pretty Eastern painted turtle. It's a good looking turtle. And unfortunately, you're the slowest one out of the bunch. But really cool. This is one of the biggest painted turtles I think I've ever caught. Usually the, the big ones are smart enough to jump in the water as usually the smaller ones are a little bit more naive. But really pretty turtle. Glad I finally caught one for today. But I'm gonna take a quick photo of this guy and let him on his way. So just caught the first lizard of the year from Maryland. And I don't think I could have found a better example of how pretty these male Eastern fence lizards get. This guy is absolutely gorgeous. Nice brown, kind of goldy back. 
and he is all colored up for the mating season. Gorgeous. Well, that's really cool. He was uh, he was just up here on this rock face, uh, and he's going up one of those small trees in the back, and I was able to grab him pretty easily. But that's a good sign that the uh, if lizards are out, that means there has to be some snakes out today. So I'm up the hill from the canal. The canal's right down there. And I'm going to be walking along this rock wall all the way back to the car. And I'm hoping that there'll be some snakes, maybe some other lizards basking on this rock outcrop on the way back. So I'll let you guys know uh, when I find the next herp. I just made it back to the car. I um, only saw painted turtles and one eastern musk turtle on the way back. No snakes yet. But I'm going to refuel, get some liquid and some food in me. And then I'm going to change locations to a spot where I think might be better for some snakes to be out basking. Um, it's actually getting pretty warm right now. So they might even not be basking anymore. But... I'm gonna give it a go today. It just seems like a really good day to finally finally get one for the year. But I'll update you guys when I get to the next spot. So here is the next herp of the day. It's been a while since my last clip. I've probably been out here for about two hours. Uh, the activity's really dying down for reptiles, but it's starting to get really good for amphibians. A lot of frogs are calling right now. Uh, we got some rain about to blow in, but this is an Eastern newt that I just flipped underneath a log. But as you can tell, he's not in the juvenile kind of stage right now where he would be that orange color he's actually more of an adult pattern and coloration so this is uh he's in a stage currently right now where he is about to transition into his fully adult stage where he's probably going to live in this little wetland for the rest of his life so that's really cool uh, definitely to see a this species in like a transitioning stage uh, it's pretty unique uh, it's really cool to see I don't see that often but I'm gonna flip his log back over and let him crawl back underneath but I have a feeling probably in the next few days maybe a week I bet you he'll move himself right into this water but pretty cool I'm gonna keep on herping around uh, today even though it's not the most ideal weather for snakes anymore but I will let you guys know if I find anything else. Well, it finally happened. First snake of the year. This is an Eastern garter snake. He was just making his way across the road in front of me here. And I was able to stop the car in time, get him off the road. Um, so snakes are out today and the ice is broken for the year. So, I am going to take a quick photo of this guy. I'm going to release him in the direction that he was heading on the far side of the road. And I'm going to keep on road cruising today. It's in the upper 60s right now, so it's pretty decent weather uh, for some snakes to get out on the road, maybe trying to sun themselves. But really glad that the ice is broken. So I'm going to see if we can find anything more today. All right, guys. Today was pretty slow, only one snake today. Um, but I'm gonna head out right now. The temperature is in the 50s. Uh, so I assume it's probably gonna be pretty good for some frog species to be out. So I'm gonna go check one of my vernal pools um, pretty close to my house and maybe see some spring peepers or wood frogs, but I'll update you guys when I get there. It's a possum. Hey, buddy. How are you? Hi. You're okay. You're all right. Oh, somebody's scared. You're fine. Look how pretty he is. 
You're drooling. <laughs> I'm gonna pet you. You're all right. All right, buddy. Ooh, got a little stubby tail. All right, buddy, I'll leave you alone. You have a good night. Well, I'm out here at one of my favorite herping locations. Uh, this is, or should be, a nice little vernal pool that is apparently dried up. This big mass is nothing but wood frog eggs. And the same here, these little patches spaced out through here. But this is actually kind of, this is pretty sad uh, to see. And we're not supposed to be getting rain for a few more days. But I don't know how long egg masses, obviously egg masses are pretty gelatinized and have a lot of liquid inside of them. Um, so actually some of these tadpoles are getting rather developed inside. Uh, we've seen a couple of them move, so obviously they're still living. But kind of sad to see, hopefully we get some rain soon. Um, fill this vernal pool back up. And that way we don't lose a whole generation of wood frog tadpoles um, if this were to dry up and all the eggs would dry up. But I'm going to go check another vernal pool tonight uh, on my way home. And hopefully we have better luck uh, with a vernal pool that actually has some water in it. Well guys, just made it back home. Um, I ended up feeling pretty bad about the wood frog eggs so I spent um, I actually went to my dad's house to pick up a bucket and then I spent about an hour hauling water up from the river to the vernal pool uh, got the eggs pretty saturated with water um, hopefully that should um, keep the eggs moist enough to keep most of the uh, egg masses alive uh, until the rain comes the rain's gonna happen looking at the weather Later on in the week, we look like we might get a substantial amount. Um, we've just had a really dry spring. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if more vernal pools in our area are starting to dry up. Uh, but hopefully, I help those guys out a little bit. Um, I'll probably check on them later this week when the rain comes, see how they're doing. But this is probably be the end of the video. So those who made it all the way through, thanks for watching. And I will probably be out later this week again uh, for a new video. So thank you guys and I'll see you later.